Zoe Saldana is opening up about her health battle, revealing that she suffers from an autoimmune disorder. Her mom and sisters have it as well. And ABC's Mars Campo has the details. On screen, Zoe Saldana is known for kicking butt. Fool, should have learned. But this morning, the actress is revealing her real life fight with an autoimmune disorder. In an article for Netta Porter's weekly digital magazine, The Edit, Saldana shares for the first time that she suffers from Hashimoto's thyroiditis, saying, your body doesn't have the energy it needs. You create antibodies that attack your glands. When Zoe was diagnosed, she said her body was feeling different, and so she had to make changes in her life to balance all of that out. In the midst of a very full life, Saldana tackling this disorder that turns the immune system against the thyroid. And it's much more common in women than in men. The 38-year-old has twin one-and-a-half-year-old boys with her husband, Italian artist Marco Perego. I wish I can, I can say that it's easy. I know that a lot of moms and, and fathers will identify. The best example I can give them is, is for them to see their parents like fighting for their dreams. In the article, Saldana adds that her mother and sisters are facing the same disorder and that it's a major life adjustment. I would hear those conversations with my mom and grandma thinking I'd never get there, she says, but all of a sudden it hits you. It's from night today. Big life change there. Well, Saldana says her husband has also made changes to his lifestyles to support her, and that even when she's working, they never spend more than a week apart. Now, as for her movie career, her plate is still quite full. She starred in some of the most successful franchises ever and is currently working on sequels to Avatar. George? Keeps on going. Okay, Mara, thanks very much. Let's talk about this now with Dr. Jen Ashton, our senior medical contributor. So, Jen, what are the symptoms here, and, and how is this diagnosed? So, first of all, this is the thyroid gland is our main metabolic gland, endocrine gland, in our body produces hormones that really act as our furnace, regulate everything from our metabolism. The symptoms, and this is what's key with Hashimoto's or thyroid disorders in general, they can be profound. They can affect everything head to toe. Some of the most popular ones or more common ones for Hashimoto's are fatigue, weight gain, you can see menstrual irregularities, irregular periods, or even constipation. Obviously, a lot of people can have those symptoms and not have thyroid dysfunction, but the key is if you are experiencing Experiencing a number of these symptoms for a persistent amount of time, get your doctor to run a blood test and specifically you have to look for thyroid antibodies. That's how usually we make the diagnosis. So is this all about the genes? Her, her mom has it, her sisters have it? You know, genetics is an important part and family history is important and often overlooked, but it's not, it's part of the picture. It's not your whole destiny. So the key is if you know something runs in your family, especially when you're talking about autoimmune conditions, this affects upwards of estimated 50 million Americans when you talk about autoimmune conditions. If you know it runs in your family, be persistent and speak to doctors. About and how about treating it? Diet, other options? You know, we're hearing a lot about diet. There's no hard data yet to support that it can help, but there is no question that we're in the infancy of looking at nutritional impacts on chronic disorders. The best and most healthiest way to eat is going to help you regardless of what you have, and especially when you're talking about a thyroid condition. Clean eating, lots of protein, lots of lean vegetables, very, very important. Good advice, Dr. Jen Ashton. Thanks bet. very much.